My late husband is Josh Miles uh, from Freedom Alliance, and um, this was uh, one of his favorite things to do was wow. And um, knowing um, how much it had a great impact on all the vets who come out here. And luckily I had the honor to um, experience this and see everything that um, him and Anthony have built. For the veteran community, this is a very high point of the year for us. I believe it's life-saving, honestly. We get so used to camaraderie and being part of a family that whenever you get out, you kind of lose that. So when you can come to this, it's a relief. I just want all of you to know that for the next four days, you are the focus. You are the prize. You are the hero of this country. Welcome to WOW 2022. Yes, it's a five-day event, but it's more than that. It is the start or the continuation of a lasting friendship. All of this is for you, brave men and women. Captain Dave promised us that uh, by the time he was done with us, we wouldn't be able to remember the exact number of how many fish we caught. And true to his word, that's exactly what happened. It's an adrenaline rush. It's quite tough. It's, uh, it's like a whole full body exercise. During the fight, your just heart rate's going crazy. Yeah. And, uh, uh -oh. yeah, I think they're onto a fish. Why don't you get out there? Go, go get a fish. And... <laughs> I think every veteran I've ever met is competitive, so they want to go out and win. They want the biggest fish. They want the most fish. They want to get the awards. But spending the time with everybody, events like this for veterans change their lives. At one point, you know, we were so far off the coast that you couldn't see anything around you in 360 degrees except for open ocean. And it at first feels a little like off-putting. Uh, you're pretty isolated out there, but then it only takes a little bit of time, some good conversations, some reassurance from the crew uh, that you're exactly where you need to be. And those peaceful times, getting to see those sunsets and those sunrises on the open ocean uh, with no one else around you, it frees you a little bit. It's the tranquility, the ability to be around like-minded people helps ease your mind and, and puts you into a, a, a better headspace. A lot of vets don't have um, the capabilities of, of doing the things that they used to do before being injured. I've seen quite a few um, amputees being able to reel in fish like this. That, like it's the easiest thing in the world. I'm on a boat on prosthetics, so it's twice as hard for me to keep my balance. So it's, uh, it's challenging and uh, it's something I've looked forward to since last year. I struggle with my own demons every day and I've had a rough last few months and uh, this event has actually given me something to look forward to and kind of kept me above water mentally and just, we all fight our demons every day and sometimes some of us lose to those demons and uh, WOW really helps us fight them off so we have a purpose and something to look forward to and something to fight for. You don't realize how valuable that camaraderie is that you had while you served in the military until it's gone. And I'm confident that the connections I've made you know, over the course of this last couple days is gonna last me a lifetime.
promises to be a fantastic evening on the Green Pier here in Catalina. The entire War Heroes on Water fleet lined up. How was the weekend? Good times? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Heard a lot of stories before coming this year and it put all the stories to shame. It was amazing. 195.9 everyone. Wow well, has brought to my life way more than just a sport fishing tournament. It just gives you that camaraderie like you were when you were in the military. What this event is, like it's even better and more amazing than I thought, after, even after my husband would come home from these trips and tell me all about them and and all the vets coming to me um, and let me know what a huge impact it's it's been on their lives. I just wanted to say that all of you made a difference, every single one of you here. Uh, for our veterans, uh, you made a difference for each other. Uh, you were being there for each other. Uh, so many of you are here because you knew somebody or somebody knew you and they brought you here with us today. And that's that's what's so special about what we're doing here. It's 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 family. And TJ and I said it about 700 times last night that it's family. Wow, it's family, and it's true. We saw the boats lined up yesterday. We saw the boat parade and everything. But seeing all of you together in one room, it is wonderful. We're gonna have a great presentation for you tonight. To celebrate our fifth annual War Heroes on Water tournament. I don't know that there's a better place to honor America's heroes than right here. I hope that uh, all of you are as proud as I am looking around. And we wanted to take just a brief moment and recognize some of those folks who have been with us since the very beginning. All of our volunteers put their heart and soul uh, into preparing for WOW. So please join me in a huge round of applause for our 2022 Volunteer of the Year, Linda Lai. Thank you so much. It was my honor to do this, my small part for WOW. In five years, we generated $5 million and uh, I couldn't have uh, asked for a better event better spirit, better community. Um, but I, I do want to give recognition because as we move along to year six, we realize the most important spoke in this wheel are our yacht owners. The way that this works, it's pretty simple. No matter how much donations we get, without these floating things with propellers on it, this ain't happening. So uh, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, talk to your dock partners. We really need, uh, we need, really need yachts to, to, to come on back next year. But um, I just wanted to, to say again, um, I hope uh, for you civilians, this has changed you just a tiny little bit, like the way that it has changed me. Um, it's, it's an unbelievable amount of non-financial compensation that you can't custom order, but you can feel as it happens. And it's not too often in life when you could be compensated that way. So I wanna congratulate each and every one of you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I know last year, Josh Miles was so darn excited and so stoked. Um, to have our first female veterans participate in the tournament. Ladies, come on up. We'd love to recognize you. The winner of this one, with a limit and a six-pounder for 43 points, Wayne Taylor on the play in hooky. It's just incredible. They made all my dreams come true. Thank you so much. All right. Congratulations, Wayne. Here to help me present the top angler award, the Ron Ashamini Award, last year's champion, Larry Drawn. Brent Woodward, bad company. This angler had a 5.3 pound rockfish, a 22.1 pound yellowtail, and a 67 pound bluefin for 118.6 weight points. Thomas Pacheco on the Game On. Um, thank you very much, uh, the, the crew of Game On. Uh, this is my first time out here and back in the military I really felt like I was somebody important and then when I retired I felt like I was nobody and so you know this this tournament really kind of brought me back up where I felt like I was somebody again so 
So thank you very much. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. The top boat award this year, the Josh Miles Award, was won by a first timer. Let's hear it for Alhaji, Ofana, Thomas Pacheco, and the crew of the game on! Wild champions! Smiling down on us. My second year. What a freaking oh, moment. <laughs> I appreciate you all. I'm not a, I'm not a speech guy, but this is amazing. I love you guys. Thank God. That is awesome. That is awesome. We all come out of this as winners. We've got friends, we've got people we can count on, people we can trust. I got friends in this room I didn't know five years ago. They are now my closest friends. They mean so much to me. All of you here that put in your time, your effort, as crew, as vets, as staff, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for us, for our country. Thank you so much. Wow, 2022, let's do it, people.